the Wi-Fi 7 network on the farm is coming along quite nicely. There's a U7 Outdoor, there's a U7 Pro, there's a second U7 Outdoor, and then there's the U7 Pro wall. But as always, I think we can do better. So in this video, we're gonna expand it with the U7 Pro Max. Yes, I am back in the Lego room and that is because the U7 Pro Max is going to be installed in here. Because as I'm expanding the Wi-Fi 7 coverage, this part of the house uh, is actually not a great spot for Wi-Fi 7. Well, I say Wi-Fi 7, in particular I'm interested in the 6 GHz band and as if you've seen any of my other videos on that, the 6 GHz band has much bigger throughput but the range is much smaller. So you kind of need a few more of these to get good um, throughput for it. The reason I want that is that I want to use, I upload a lot from my phone, I take videos with my phone, I upload them to my NAS which is on the network, the higher throughput the easier it gets um, and also because well it's Wi-Fi 7. Huh. Now the party trick with this is the live spectrum analyzer and we'll get to much more about that and how that works a little bit later on uh, but this is, well it was the um, sort of flagship of the Wi-Fi 7 range, of course there is now the Enterprise 7 which I don't have so Unify, if you're watching, I'd love to test that out or if anyone else want to help me out, <laughs> that it looks like a fantastic piece of kit, but that would be a different video. The Pro Max uh, has massive throughput as well. It's an 8x8 MIMO radio, but I'll go through all the specs as well. Um, and I'm going to put it here and connect it uh, to my uh, Pro Max 24 switch, which of course has two and a half gigabit connection which I can use for this, so that's cool. So at least I'll get two and a half gigabit uh, connection, hopefully throughput, let's see what we get, right? Well, that, that's the plan. So first thing, let's just take it out of the box. There's not much to it. I'll install it here and, uh, and then we'll go and have a look at the, the specs and the features and test it out. Here's the box. There's probably not much in it, but anyway, here we go. First of all, of course we have this. <laughs> and this is one of those reveal-y things, so we slide it out like this. Hey, come on. There we go. And that's it. So here's the U7 Pro Max in all its glory. It's a... It looks like a standard size. It looks about the same size as any other of these access points, apart from a couple. Here's the template for mounting it. I mean, I've cheated because I already have a mount that was actually a U6 Pro here before. So it's the same mount, but there's the template for mounting it. Um, here is the um, sort of versatile uh, global fits everything mount. Um, there's a whole bunch. If you haven't seen these before, they're really good. Yeah, you can mount them on almost anything. Uh, obviously the uh, access point will go on it like this. Like that. And that is actually what we are going to mount it on just up there. Um, and here is, if you have a, a thin ceiling, you can put this on the other side and yep, secure it better. And we have a whole bunch of screws, a whole lot and a few tools, more mounting stuff here. So that's pretty much all you get. As I said, there's just the access point in it. So that's in the box. Let's, um, let's put it up, mount it and uh, get it going. U7 Pro Max is up. Did you notice that I uh, used my long extendable arms? Yeah, I know. I did cheat a bit, but it wasn't very difficult. The mount was already there from the previous access point, um, but I just plugged it in and put it on there. It's, it's really basic. And now it's plugged into my Pro Max 24 switch on a two and a half gigabit connection. So um, I think first let's look at all the specs for it, because there's a lot of different things to go through here. And then we'll jump into the Unified Network and then we'll do some testing. So let's have a look at the specs for the U7 Pro Max. And as you can see here, first of all, of course it's Wi-Fi 7. The name kind of gives it away, right? But it has this 6 GHz support, which is what I was talking about earlier, which is what I'm really after. But it also has eight spatial streams, eight. So 
eight, essentially eight lane highway, right? To, uh, to provide traffic. Now with Wi-Fi 7, when you do have a Wi-Fi 7 device, which there aren't still aren't that many of, um, you can combine these highway lanes essentially and you get more traffic through. It's quite neat. Um, but yeah, go and watch my video that explains that as well. We have the, of course, the real-time spectral analysis. I'm gonna go through that in just a second and show you how that works. Uh, the coverage is 160 square meters. That's quite a lot. It's quite a large area. Of course, that isn't with six gigahertz uh, band because that's much shorter, but uh, I think this must be for 2.4 gigahertz, I was, you know, I'd imagine. Uh, 500 plus connected devices, it can support. So a lot of devices. Uh, more than I will have on it. I think the most I've had on this now, I've been running it for a couple of days, is about 20, <laughs> maybe 30 or something like that. Uh, and most of those are IoT devices, but still. It's powered using PoE Plus, which is what we got from the Pro Max 24, as well as the 2.5 gigabit uplink. So that's kind of neat. And um, yeah, I'll do a couple of tests so you can see it with and without um, the Wi-Fi 7 or the, the 6 gigahertz band. But we'll get to those a bit later. Let me go down here to the actual tech specs because there's a couple of things that are worth noting. Uh, so the dimensions is that it's it's the same as most other of these devices from Unify. I think this is on the larger side, but you know, 20 centimeters in diameter, it's not terrible. Um, it weighs just over half a kilo, and of course, it's made of polycarbonate like all of them are. It is not outdoor rated. At uh, the hardware, we have a to one or 2.5 gigabit connection. So I'm running 2.5, which is obviously what you want if you want the max throughput with it. Uh, powered by PoE Plus. And then we have the MIMO antennas and they are all multi-user MIMO. So multi-user, uh, multiple input, multiple output, which means that multiple devices can use multiple of these channels at the same time, which is what you want. You want as many devices using these uh, channels at the same time as possible for throughput. And we have two, or two by two on 2.4, we have four by four on five gigahertz. So that's really where the throughput is in terms of number of devices and channels. And then we have two by two on the six gigahertz, which is still more uh, throughput actually, but I'll, I'll show you that when we do the testing. Anyway, we'll get to that. And then we have here the 2.4, the five gigahertz and the six gigahertz throughput or max data rate. I don't know how to get that high, but I can definitely see a difference when I use six gigahertz versus five gigahertz band. And then there's a bit about the software and the supported data rates here, um, which I won't go through. So that's the specs. The key, of course, here is the six gigahertz band being Wi-Fi 7 and the eight by eight antenna array, which with Wi-Fi 7 will make a huge difference. All right, so let's jump into the Unified Network and have a look at the U7 Pro Max's features and things. Okay, so let's have a look at the features of the U7 Pro Max. So I'm here in the Unified Network and I have selected U7 Pro Max. And uh, we have, first we can see where it's connected to, like always. We can go directly to the radio manager, that's for the live spectrum analyzer. We'll do that in just a second. And then we can see here what is connected to uh, this particular access point. And as I mentioned before, there are eight antennas. There's an eight by eight MIMO uh, setup. So right now, I only have eight clients on the two by two uh, MIMO. It says Wi-Fi 7. They're not actually connected to Wi-Fi 7. It just means that it's offering Wi-Fi 7 because these are all IoT devices. Uh, and then we can see here some of the clients. You can see that's the light strip from my server cupboard. It's the uh, server cabinet, uh, whatever that is, probably a switch. There's a Sensibo air condition, etc., etc. There's actually the pool cleaners there as well. Um, so those are connected on my IoT network because, yeah, I don't trust all devices on my network. So um, they have their own VLAN. Um, but they're all connected on 2.4 gigahertz. And of course, there is the model down here. You can see the uptime. It's been up for about a week now. Um, yeah, these videos sometimes take a long time to record. Um, and uh, there's other bits, you know, device version, etc. And then we have some air stats here. You can, let me just scroll down. You have 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz. You can see the transmit power, uh, the transmission rate, the receiving rate, etc., etc. Um, and it actually looks all right. We haven't dropped many packages. We do a few retries, but not dropped many. So that's good. Sometimes uh, I have uh, some interference for access point and I drop a lot of packages. Uh, that's all here. And you can see, of course, it's connected to the Pro Max um, 24 on 2.5 gigahertz. Bit. Uh, yeah, the power. Some of you might wondering how much power is actually using. This is about how much? 12, 13 watts. It's a fairly power hungry uh, access point, but also it, it has eight antennas. 
it does the live spectrum analysis, it does a lot of things. So yeah, I'm not surprised that it's using a fair bit of grunt, um, or a fair bit of power. Let's go to the insights. Here we can see the channel usage on this particular access point. You can see we are running Wi-Fi 1, 3, 4, 6, and 7 right now. Um, I think most of those devices I just showed you are Wi-Fi 4, pretty sure. Um, and then we have here, we're using on 5 gigahertz, we have 11% utilized and 1% on 6 gigahertz because almost nothing uses 6 gigahertz yet. I reckon it will. Give it a couple of years and most things will be able to run on 6 gigahertz, I think. It's just it's just so much throughput. Um, maybe not little IoT devices with hardly any traffic, but larger devices. Uh, system statistics is just for the uh, CPU and memory usage. Nothing very interesting. All right, so settings. So in here, there's a couple of things that I usually change. First of all, I want to give it another name. I'm going to call this Lego Room because that's where we put it up. And then the radios here. Uh, the radios, I tend to see, yeah, I tend to change them. Uh, 2.4, I leave that at 20 because most IoT devices don't actually can cannot use 40 um, megahertz bands. I think um, that's at least what I've read up on. For the 5 gigahertz, I tend to put an 80 or 160. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. I might change that to 160 just because you get more throughput. And that is why I have put 6 gigahertz at 320 megahertz. So really, really wide band. In fact, it's much wider than all of 2.4 gigahertz, um, which means you can have a lot more throughput to it. And I'll show you that when we do the test down in the room with my phone. Um, I have meshing on. I know that some people say take meshing off. I'm aware of that it creates a lot of uh, noise on the network. In this case, I'm using it um, because I have the uh, unified device bridge enabled and that is actually using maybe this access point or one of two others. Um, so I do have it on for some access points. So that's why. So yes, I'm aware that sometimes you don't want meshing on because it's noisy. Um, Allow wireless downlinks. Uh, do I want that? I'm not sure. Um, mesh downlink Charlie. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. That's because I want the UDB to to actually connect to it. So that I think that makes sense. And then we can all write IP settings. If you can manage the LED, um, and we can enhance PV plus into a real. I don't know what that is. What does that say? Ensures robust operation with PV plus switches and long cable runs by reducing AP power consumption may limit peak performance in some conditions. Okay, I'm not sure how that works. I mean, I can read it, but let me know in the comments if you have uh, some experience with this, because I am i don't. Anyway, interesting. And then there's just the usual, usual of uh, using an existing device configuration from another device. I don't. And then there's all the restart, etc. Right, so I'm going to apply these changes, and then let's have a look at the live spectrum analyzer. So this is the live spectrum analyzer uh, that comes with the Pro Max. And let me just explain here sort of what's going on. So at the top here, we have our spectrum or broadcast or airtime scan. We're gonna leave it at spectrum for now. We can then switch between our bands. And then we have two different graphs here that are live, they're moving. We have the waveform and we have the waterfall. So let me explain what all these different bits do. The, uh, I'll start with the graphs here. The waveform is right now, current, uh, processing of signals around the U7 Pro Max. So here we have the 2.4 gigahertz band and we have the different channels on that band. So the idea is that you can see if there is interference or high traffic on these bands. Um, the best analogy I can come up with is sort of like imagine you're at a party and you can hear where people are talking more loudly than other places. So in the same room, there might be a corner or something where they talk more loudly. Imagine that is like the bands. You can listen to which band is louder or has more traffic on it, right? So in my case, I'm using channel one and channel six or seven. You can see that they're sort of more red, whereas the channel 10, 11, 12 are more green. So they're less uh, used. And underneath, we can see over time, the last 60 seconds, how this has performed. So you can see I had really a lot of traffic here on, ch on uh, channel six. Uh, again, it's coming up here as red. And obviously red is, uh, is worse than green. Green is good, right? Um, so you can uh, sort of analyze where you have uh, congestion on your different channels of the network. Uh, my 2.4 is by far the most to use because I have so many IoT devices. 
um, that all runs on 2.4. So you can see if I switch to 5 gigahertz like this, just give it a chance here to catch up. There we go. You can see it's pretty much entirely green, right? <laughs> all of it is green. There's not a lot of devices that use 5 gigahertz compared to the 2.4 gigahertz. Um, and of course, if I switch to the 6 gigahertz, it's even better. Now, 6 gigahertz is also a very, very broad band. Uh, it's almost all of the 6 gigahertz spectrum. There we go. It takes a little while for it to load just to get all the data going. Um, and you can see here that um, I'm using these channels here. This seems to be the best um, traffic or the best, best signal. And you can see now down here, I'm using channel 209 to 221. Um, and you can see in real time how the different bands, how the, uh, the signal quality is going up and down. It's quite neat. And then, of course, there's the waterfall here as well. So the idea with this, of course, is that you can uh, analyze the bands being used and the and the signal interference around this access point, and you can then improve it um, where you see needed. Right. So, if, for example, if I went to my 2.4 gigahertz here, and we'll just get it to load. Come on. There we go. You can see I probably want to somehow go and look at channel 6 and channel 10 or something like that right now. They seem to be the ones with the least uh, or the most congested traffic, the least clear uh, signals, right? Um, so that's where you can use it for. All right, so that's all the features of the U7 Pro Max and all the specs and the Live Spectrum Analyzer. So let's go down to the Lego room again and I'll use my phone to do a bit of testing and see what kind of throughput we can actually get. All right, let's have a look at some real world tests. Well, real world on my network at least, uh, of the U7 Pro Max here just above me. So um, I am now connected, as you can see here on the screen, to the six gigahertz band. You can see that down the bottom there. Uh, and I'm connected to the Lego room, which is the, well, the U7 Pro Max. So I'm on 320 megahertz band. So there's the really wide six gigahertz band. So let's start a speed test, but I'm just gonna do a speed test to the UDMSE, not internet, because there's no point. I want to know about the speed on my local network, right? So remember, I'm on Wi-Fi now. So I'm going to press the little button there, do a speed test. And I am now on the um, 6 gigahertz band, as I said. So 937 down and up is ooh, 1100, 1200, 1.2, 1.1 1 .1 gigabit, right? And well, that, that sounds good, but let me just show you here on the screen. So I did some other speed tests just before, and I'll show you the comparative results. So here, an hour ago, this is on uh, Wi-Fi 6, 5 gigahertz, 160 megahertz band, as you can see there, channel 40, uh, 478 down, 164 up, right? So that was with uh, the U6 Enterprise, I think, that was on, on that um access point and then i did a one here which is on the uh, 160 megahertz 6 gigahertz band uh, so not 5 gigahertz 6 gigahertz and that did uh 764 down and 750 up right so you can see how it progressed and then i did a bunch here or a couple on the 6 gigahertz 320 megahertz band um, and you can see i've got one of them i got 1400 up 1200 up, 1100 up, for some reason I get slightly less down than up, but whatever. Uh, but this is on Wi-Fi, pretty much gigabit on Wi-Fi, and this is not even a Wi-Fi 7 device. So that's, that works! For me, that's a huge improvement, especially when I start moving really large files around on the Wi-Fi. This actually makes a difference for me every day. But, um, that's it! That's my UD, uh, well, U7 Pro Max is what it's called. Um, have you got any questions? Something I missed, um, especially around the um, the, the live um, spectrum analyzer, because that's quite a quite of a world that I haven't really delved into before. I can't understand what it does, but let me know how it might actually improve what I do. Or any other questions? Put them down below. And as always, if you uh, enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, because I am going for fifty thousand subscribers this year. Mm, I know, and I need your help. So um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. U7 Pro Max is up. Did you notice that I used my very long extendable arms to put it up? Mm, that was very simple. I mean, I cheated. I had already put up the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the, um, the, um,